YouTube, what's going on? All right, now we're starting this uh, uh, drift build. So before I even get any of the parts, I, I gotta get this uh, these pedals situated. I'm gonna take out this computer here, 10 millimeter bolt, as you can see, it's real rusty. I'm gonna probably soak it a little bit. I'm gonna start with that first. And um, then we're gonna move on now. All right, so we got, you see the brake pedal here. And now that's the PCM over there. We have to take that out in order to put a, um, cause this is right in the way where the clutch pedal would go. Uh, all right, there's a 240SX pedal right here. So, as you can see, if we do mount it up, right? Let's say, you know, it's up underneath there. This is over too much. So, more than likely we have to probably heat it up and straighten it right at the bend. Clutch pedal on the vise. I'm probably going to, um, I'm gonna heat it up and then use this to kind of like squeeze it. So it's gonna be very difficult for me to uh, record, but it's gonna heat it up and then All right, as you can see, the pedal is not in there. We're just positioning it right now just to see how it would look. And now you can see that it's straight, straighter. Now what I have to do is, um, you know, cut this out, twist that around, weld that back, and then get one of these and put it onto there or cut it down to fit. You know, you just basically take off this pad here. Just take it off. And as you can see, you got that, or you just, you know, take a pattern, take a pattern from this one here, and just put it up there. Now we're moving on from the foot pedals down to making this bracket. So now, trace it out. Boom. The hole here, hole up here, big hole here. So we got to get to that and drill that. So. this bit here go in there and we use the regular ones to do that See, this is like around 5 eighths so you can get this from the Home Depot this will work just nicely for that so we're going to get down and cut this out and then we're going to see if it fits and everything else so let's get to that Got it in there. Um, what I did was, you know, as you can see, I made the plate and everything, and then see the little sealant. I put a little weather stripping around the backing of this plate here. So basically, you know, to make it a little water resistant. Some people don't have to do it. I just did it just to do it. Put a little water sealant behind there. The whole right in front of the spring. Now, that's where I'll probably have to put a screw at, or a bolt, I mean, and uh, inside there. Now, let me move this out the way. If I can. Let's see if I can get it. Oh. Yeah. So, well, I can't move it out because I got the bolt in the front of it on, but you get the picture. So I have to take this out and then um, uh, then kind of get with it and see what I can do with it. 
Well, I had to do a lot of re readjusting and stuff with this one screw that's all the way up there. As you can see, I had the big hole there, but it fits better cockeyed, a lot more straighter. Um, so that's the pedal. You know, uh, you know it, it, it's, it's legit, you know. You can wiggle that bitch. It's uh, tight. You clear in. Well, you see the gap though, but that's just the name of the game. You know, it is what it is. More than likely, I'm gonna probably leave it just like that and put the other thing like that so I could just, you know, probably can do that. So I'm gonna just leave it just like that. So that's the clutch pedal in. And you can get to see. See, I had to move that bolt on the other side. It didn't fit right. You know, things didn't sit right. I had to shave inside that piece there and everything, but for the most part, it fits pretty well. Um, you know, it works out pretty good. Now we're gonna go inside the cabin. Oh, inside the engine, I mean. And, uh, we have, and it sits in there pretty good. As you can see, as um, you can see, it's a little cockeyed, but that's how the body goes. So I had to kind of readjust the pedal. That's why I had to cut it out again because the body kind of contours. As uh, you can see, it goes there and then it kind of goes up over like that. So, I mean, this thing is in there tight. And then this is the East, the PCM. Uh, put desiccant inside the bag. This is something, <laughs> yeah, this is hood, but I think it'll work. You know, you got a little zipper on it. I could take the ECU out, you know. Uh, you know, keep some desiccant in it, kind of make it, keep it dry. Um, yeah, but that's it for that. I guess the next thing now is I gotta go find a transmission. So, I think I found one on Craigslist. We'll see how much it costs. I don't give a damn what it is, if it's blown or what, I don't care. I'm just gonna take it, if I have to rebuild it, I have to rebuild it, send it out. Actually, I can't rebuild my transmissions. But, as you can see, it's in there. All the plates you see I made and yeah it, 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 it can be done fellas you know it can be done anything can be done you just need to take time and have the right tools and have a, a game plan um, I'm gonna probably take this mat uh, clutch master out even though it's good I'm gonna use it but um I'm gonna probably take it out and put it in a brand new one so all right so that's the end of the video here and I'm just gonna probably start up the car and make sure it runs <laughs> You know what I mean? So, you gotta make sure.